In September, we introduced you to Mike Sloan, a man raising eyebrows across the nation for using social media to share his story of terminal cancer. Mike's dry sense of humor found levity in death. Today, Mike Sloan passed away with the assistance of a doctor. Before he died, Mike invited my colleague Stephen Bourne and I to document his choice to choose medically assisted dying. We begin tonight with our most recent interview with Mike just a couple weeks ago on January 2nd. I don't think I've been so happy to wish anyone a happy new year other than you. Well, you didn't think you'd be sitting here. I didn't think there was a remote chance that I would make it to 2020. It was September when we first sat down at a park bench with Mike Sloan in London, Ontario. A doctor had just given him six to ten weeks to live. Mike even had this plaque mounted on a memorial stone in his hometown north of Peterborough. He joked on Twitter, if you people think you have problems, well, I'm obligated to die in 2019. Though when dying, Mike discovered the validation he'd longed for all of his life. His candid, taboo-busting discussions about death on Twitter spawned interviews with journalists across the country and thousands of new followers. It is extraordinary. In the last 28 days, 7.5 million people have read my tweets. I mean, that's crazy. Because I'm, it all goes back, Adrian, to where we started back in September. I'm still just one guy dying of cancer. With anaplastic thyroid cancer strangling his vocal cords, Mike Sloan chose to use what was left of his voice to also speak about his decision to choose medically assisted death. The rare form of cancer was slowly choking him, so he opted to go out on his own terms and invited us to document his last days and his death right up until the end. I mean, I'm comfortable, as I say, with dying. It's just, it's the finality of it. Mike shared with me how extremely difficult it is to pick a day to die. He also offered the world a glimpse into the thought process of a man who's learned just how precious life is. It's important to remember that besides this unfortunate thing, being the cancer, I've had a great life. There's never been a shortage of laughs, fun, and adventure. As Mike packed up his belongings in a Toronto hotel room and headed out of town with a friend just a couple weeks back, we shook hands as we always did, sure that we would see each other again soon. I said on the way here, well, this is for sure going to be the last time I'm in Toronto. And he said, You've told me that th the last three times we've been here. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't say that anymore. Who knows what will happen next? Sadly, Mike decided today was the day for him to move forward with medically assisted dying. Fittingly, R.I.P. Mike, along with rest in peace Mike Sloan, is trending right now on Twitter across Canada. Mike died with his close friend Bob Smith by his side today. In the weeks ahead, we'll be bringing you more of Mike Sloan's journey to end his life on his own terms.